TP52 is probably the Formula One of the non-foiling sailing. This is the best monohull racing in the world you can get. We have more and more boats coming here, more owners are joining and it's such a good fleet. It takes time to build a class. You can't order one of these things overnight. The steps we sort of had in our mind, we all did, and now the class and the circuit are, are very closely tied together. This is a stunning fleet and all these guys are so good. I mean, if you're top five all the time, then you're lucky. Every leg is a challenge, every race is a challenge, every regatta, so it's a pleasure to be here. It's fantastic to sail this class that is the best class, I think, in the world. Being in Barcelona was really very special and we enjoyed the racing, a tough competition. <laughs> it's Porto Cervo and the racing is incredible and the scenery is beautiful and so you got to stay focused on the yacht to make sure that we do it properly. The atmosphere is great and still uh, I think it's the one of the world's nicest regattas. There was no wonder it was the America's Cup home and so many people liked it. It's really, really brilliant. Oh my goodness, it's fantastic here, isn't it? The sailing conditions are wonderful, the fleet's fantastic here, and uh, the atmosphere is wonderful ashore as well. It's a real feel-good event, isn't it? Leaving Michigan and having sunshine, putting on sunscreen and coming back with a little color, very obviously. So, yeah, it's great. It's a very warm welcome to the Sunshine Party Island of uh, Ibiza. Quite a tight environment, but it's a friendly atmosphere, actually. It's pretty good. Beautiful, amazing, like just the scenery and I went for a run this morning and just, just amazing. How are you feeling? I feel uh, still uh, asleep and uh, I go for a nice cappuccino that in Capri is uh, number one. I feel like home here. We always bring the family in and he's very kind and invite the family and oh, look at this, it's an amazing place. It's nice to be sailing back at home, well, second home. It's a great place to race. You know, win or lose, it's just super close, it's super tight, and we're all gonna be friends here on the dock at the end of the day. It's a spectacular event. It's a really nice place. I mean, it's, it's a little bit untypical. The place is very well uh, preserved, the environment is very nice, and it's a very nice uh, sailing uh, area because there is always uh, wind. It's a tricky venue, but it's fun. Boy, what a great place we are here. You know, I mean, Menorca has really turned it on for us. Fantastic weather and great sailing conditions. Mahan's fantastic. It's an amazing place. Really impressed with Sibenik. It's a great marina and a great venue to host the TP52 series. Top of the tops to bring this event to Croatia, and uh, we all love it. It's amazing. Hola, welcome to mainland Spain. We're on Spain's Atlantic coast for the first time, on the Bay of Cadiz. This is perfect sailing. Table mountain, fog outside, can't get better. It's a spectacular place to come to and to sail. My first time here in Bayona, and uh, it's stunning. Beautiful scenery, lovely old yacht club, and great food. <laughs> The 
Super Series is in good health, tight racing, boats on equal points, so I think you cannot ask for more than that. So this is fantastic. This is what we came here to do and we knew it would be very, very hard, so we were very, very pleased. Boy, once they get on a roll, those guys are so good. In fact, the whole fleet is just amazing. It's what this class is about. It's very close, no lead is safe, and incredibly competitive. Normally we finish last, but this time we win. <laughs> Tomorrow, I hope to win again. So I have to buy a container with champagne inside. Really good result of working hard and bringing a good combination, good group of people together. It's good that things get switched up a bit. You see some of the new teams progressing, more boats, more teams on the podium. It's fantastic, it's the way it's supposed to be. Six years now we are in the circuit. First time we win a regatta. It's unbelievably hard to win, but finally, finally it worked out. so much fun and we were kind of Mutt and Jeff for 15 years doing this with him and it was a very special relationship and hard to have lost him. Alberto was obviously a true leader by example, by determination and with his passion he changed our lives and the history of the Argentinian sailing so his legacy would, would last forever. Competition is all about people. You got a lot of friends that you're with that you're competing against. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. And when you don't, you're disappointed, but you're happy for somebody else. And, and it goes both ways. It goes always. Everyone here is willing to help us, and you know we're, we're willing to do the same when it's the other way around. But it's just that spirit amongst the fleet that was that is so nice. We race really, really hard against each other and we come back on the dock and we're all friends with other teams. You just kind of envision it and you want to be a part of it and now you actually are a part of it. It's the 52 Super Series organization to put on the events, to, to market these events, to, to put the pieces all in place. It's that combination that makes it successful. If one of those pieces isn't working, uh, you know, then you're not going to be celebrating 10 years. And we are not the last one. Look, look. <laughs> you have to look. You know, Patrick, seven. <laughs> Tony, how do you feel? Uh, I think I just said dip me in cream and lock me in a room full of kittens. I think that is very, very romantic. Except the time with Parada, this is not so romantic. <laughs> Ciao. Here we are 10 years later uh, with the fleet very strong, with the competitive level as high as it's ever been, uh, and uh, a chance to uh, look to the next 10 years with, uh, with great confidence. <laughs>